Hey guys, Sheldon Schwartz, creative director of DJI. I'm here with Randy and Ed. We're here at our DJI booth at NAB 2015, and we're here to talk to you about the difference between the Phantom 3 and the Inspire 1. They are both very useful aerial imaging platforms. They both have their niche use. Since I've been shooting on these both these platforms for the past six months, I can tell you guys, aerial cinematographers, exactly how both of these units fit into your tool palettes. I'll start with the Phantom 3. The Phantom 3 Professional has a stabilized 4K camera that you can tilt with finesse. So when you're flying over, let's say, a volcano or a pink lake, you can get those position shots. You can achieve this level of aerial cinematography with this device. The Inspire 1 also has a stabilized 4K camera, but when you transform it, you get full freedom. As you can see, you can pan, tilt, and have precise control over what you want to shoot higher level of precision aerial cinematography. Yes, I know that everyone has been talking about the fact that these are the same, cam the same camera quality, but at DJI, when we make cameras, we set the standard high. So the other thing is modular technology. As you can see, uh, Randy just removed the camera, and we're starting to take a modular technology approach to the way we build our prosumer and professional platforms. At CES, we debuted our handheld prototype camera, and that is the beginning of this modular look of designing our technology. And very quickly, the battery time of the Phantom is 23 to 25 minutes, whereas the Inspire runs for 18 minutes. The Inspire comes with a case, but it's obviously much bigger and harder to transport. This fits in a backpack. And that's just the beginning. I want to encourage you guys out there to comment and start a dialogue so you can actually tell us how you think these two tools fit in your own palette of aerial cinematography, aerial platforms.